Hey Scorpio, Vanessa Moon here. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing great. Do me a favor guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. All the information you need to know about me is in the description box below. I'm cur currently accepting new clients for private readings, so go ahead and check me out. There's a direct link there. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay, let's just jump right in. I did a channeled message for you guys. I was getting something I don't usually get. Um, it was kind of dark, and then it was really good, okay? So, I'm getting like you guys are kind of in this really space of just peace and serenity. Um, Scorpios, yeah, there's a good card, leadership. Um, and I'm seeing that you could be in a place where you've, your life feels like, okay, everything is finally getting to where it needs to be, or like you, you're, you're, things are coming together after some you know, long, hard, really, really dark time in your life, okay? When I say dark, I mean, it'll be different for everyone else. Obviously, you just had a pandemic, but it's like things are finally back to, or to a place where you feel, where it's starting to feel like yourself again. Look at these synchronicities. You could be seeing a lot of repeating numbers. Yeah, your environment. It's like you're in a new environment now, okay? Or that's the theme that a lot of you are going into. I'm a Scorpio. I just moved. I changed states, so I totally get that. All right, this is resonating for me too. So it's saying, you know, you could be getting to a place where things are finally starting to like, like the denouement, you know, in the story that's like the, the cool down after the climax, after the cliffhanger, like. But the cliffhanger is now being reviewed in your brain, like nonstop. Like it's like, okay, time to think about all the crap you've been through and like learn from it. That's what spirit said. So it's like, you could really be going, have been going through like these bad flashbacks and really processing what just happened to you. And it's like a big, what the fuck moment? Like, really? Like, so it's kind of, um, it's been rough. It's been rough, but with this leadership energy, it's telling me this is what it's required to become a true, true leader. This is what's required to become a true leader, Scorpio, and you're a leader. Some of y'all are leaders in music, straight up. Leaders in adventures, okay? So are taking on a new adventure, getting messages through music, or it's music to your ears, which you're about to hear, and, you're, and, and that's what I was getting. I'm getting that your life is about to 180, seriously. This is only the beginning. It hasn't really started yet. That's what I'm here to tell you. It hasn't begun. It, it hasn't begun, but it has started. So it's saying like the journey you envision hasn't begun, but the journey has started. You're just at like, you know, chapter one, you know, third paragraph in, you know, to like, the 10 book series, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's, it's starting, okay? It's just, but the, the journey, the adventure is about to begin now, okay? So this is what a, the environment is settling in. It's getting stable with the, with the 44, okay? You're gonna be rewarded or you're gonna be a leader or something where you're in a completely an individual. Yeah, there's that change. Everything is about to change, okay? Some of you are very spiritual. You have these spiritual careers, it says. Some of you could be embarking on a spirit, more spiritual career. That could just mean something that aligns perfectly with who you are. And what I'm seeing is that there is something about your individuality that is attracting a mate along this journey, okay? I'm getting something that goes, someone who goes exactly with your destiny. So again, this could be a work partner, or it could be you partner with your mate, or you meet the perfect companion to take, to, to like support your individual, um, your, uh, your purpose, your life purpose, but I'm getting, you're the leader? This is a huge embark for you. This is a huge change, okay? This is gonna be music to your ears, but they're about to tell you though. So somebody's about to make you an offer. The reason I say that is because in my in my download, I was seeing, you know, you're in this, you're just in this place where you're getting peace and you're being haunted by the ghosts of the past, but you're making peace with it. Okay, you are slowly but surely. It's a hard process though. I'm getting like night tremors, anxiety. I'm getting like you know flashbacks, cold sweats, crying for no reason, feeling really bad at one point, but then halfway through the day feeling better. Like it's not. It's not like some long depression. It's it's merely reflection, but it must be done in order to process, in order to leave this completely behind you. You're le this is like the, like I said, this is the spiritual energy. This is the Piscean energy, the 12th house energy of getting through, making sense of all the changes before this new adventure starts to really kick in. 
What's up world? Vanessa Moon here and I'm here to let you know about the creme de la creme of psychic websites Keen, okay? I know how hard it is to find a good website to invest in when you're looking for those, you know, those answers that you seek. Well, I'm here to let you know firsthand as a Keen advisor myself, the dedication that Keen has made into nurturing experienced psychics, tarot readers, intuitives, astrologists, etc. Okay, to bring you the clarity and the answers that you seek 24 hours a day, seven days a week. With that being said, I would highly suggest trying out all the different readings and readers to get the different messages that apply to your whole situation, your healing and your growth. And for today only, you get your first 10 minutes for only a dollar 99 okay using trykeen.com slash vanessa moon that unique url will help you take advantage of that also using the promo code vanessa moon i will take advantage of this guys i'll talk to you soon thank you to keen for sponsoring this video so that's what this time frame is about for you all and then I'm getting that meanwhile on the flip side what you don't see is somebody notices you okay and this person they, they, it was sweet as taboo by Sade just playing and they, that's what they feel like like oh look now it's kiss of life okay so you give me the kiss of life something about your um individuality is breathing life into someone and they are it's changing them so you're you changing yourself is changing other people because you're a leader okay so what you don't know is people are watching your journey they're watching you and they're waiting like almost salivating to see what happens because they can feel the momentum because when a scorpio does this kind of change we know something about to happen right so oh sorry about that so a lot of you again you could be having creative endeavors but whatever you're about to hear is music to your ears it's the change you wanted it's the change you created for yourself with the three and now with the two it's time to make a decision so you have eight and one so you already went through the change and the one is that you're in a new portal you're in a blessing great you're in a nine energy though you're solitary you're still building up working on yourself you're not hermit energy but it's creating and crafting a leader and now it's you're gonna hear something again that's gonna change you have two changes here maybe three because you have three five energy so it's saying that you're gonna have something come in that's music to your ears you're like yes and that's always what you always wanted to hear it's just so seamless it's so easy it's just the, the energy you just flow right into it right and it's a great it's a crazy adventure you're about to go on a wild ride with that five five energy so tell me about the leadership here yeah you have to rest first see what i tell you that's that rest and recuperation okay something that's challenging your belief systems here like it's almost like you gotta be in the you gotta rest up for to to really build up your structure again your faith again because somebody you had to cut you had to cut some people down here okay you have to go cold here Taurus energy here could have been a partnership could have been a structure you could have it could have been you against the establishment for some of y'all a legal decision is being made on your behalf though you're, you're winning a case there um so it's saying that or someone could just surrender they don't want to fight anymore and it's because you had to be stern you had to learn how to um you to use your voice as a weapon okay um again some of you really are singers though all right so it's saying everybody's sitting around talking about you. They can't believe you. Like, look, all these people in these, these are about groups. So it's saying, look, while you're over there laying around and like really resting and recuperating, put the swords down, right? This is you. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy was there. Oh, look, now we have the chariot. So I must have mixed it up a little bit. Well, you move. You're on the move. Don't matter. Okay. But while you're in that Queen of Swords energy, you know, kind of just being isolated, being fair, being truthful, being balanced. It's like you left these people in the in the wake. Okay. <laughs> and they're sitting around talking about you. Wow, wow. Wow. Look at all that just happened. Like, look at all that change. Look at all that. All that has occurred for Scorpio. And you're like, I ain't seen nothing yet. I'm sorry, you haven't seen anything yet because your your faith. This, this is saying you're getting a blessing. Here's a karmic karmic as a divine soulmate or something that's divinely meant for you looking at you right now watching you and the people around this person are watching this person watch you and like well who that is who is that 
Do you see what they're always looking at that? They're always looking at that person, but you're in the four swords mode. You're resting. You are these four swords. You're like, I'm tired. I'm recuperating. I'm thinking about this, this, this thing that hurt me. And I'm making sense of it with this sword. And then these people are looking around, you know, waiting for you to tell, tell me what to do, Scorpio. I mean, I'm here to help you. So I'm getting that you're getting a new soul tribe. You could be talking to people, meeting new people, but you haven't made any decisions about who you're going to hang out with yet. But you like the, you like your surroundings. Okay. I like this four swords. It's like, you like this place you've come to it's nice it's warm you could build stuff or you know it's comfortable like you could put your feet up everybody's cool here maybe they dress a little funky different than you do maybe they're a little bit not as like uh, fancy as you so you feel like you could really be a leader because it's all about being a leader and people are looking to you as this like spiritual teacher maybe your, your, your walk your journey you come into this balance is teaching people something spiritually right maybe how to how to how to have faith and see themselves through trying times how to breathe through it how to relax and meditate through things and really you know get to their reach their goals and somebody is watching you these groups of people are watching you this one they could want to hire you they could want to marry you Okay, that you could be marrying or committing to this thing, whether it's a job or career, I'm getting both. But people are watching them watch you and they don't like it. They could be looking at you like, what's wrong with their clothes? Like, why do they dress like that? Why are they so slovenly? But, but nobody doesn't know what you've been through. Okay, and it's okay. This person is like, wow, this, this, you're amazing. This is the leader of this group. So the leader of this group is looking at you as a leader of this group and wanting to merge. Ooh, I like this. This is your general message. So this is some type of high priest. So it's like some type of institution that really wants to invest in you, Scorpio. Like a lot of you, like I said, this is from my singers. I'm a singer, so this is great. Okay. All, right. All right, so you have judgment here. You have page of wands and you have, or musicians, I should say. You have, um, yeah, you have the arts here. You have visual arts here too, communication, communicative arts. So something again is music to your ears. This is about your calling with the judgment card. This is about the investment you've made and the failures you've had all the years all the years long. It's gonna be about the past seven years and how hard it was for you after you made some big, you were at a crossroads then, and now you're at the next crossroads. Like you got through the fire, like you got through the rebirth. Okay, it was like a long descent down and a long and a longer descent, a ascent up, okay? But the thing is, you, you managed to keep a little bit of something. You might've lost a lot along the way. You might've lost all the things you had grown or put your invested your time into in the past, just failed, died, and you had to walk away and leave it. But you did leave with a couple gems and those gems you needed is exactly what the universe needed for you to become and step into this leadership roles, okay? Where things just flow to you. Like I said, music to your ears. Now you hear your calling, you know your calling, all right? And you, again, some of you had to take off a lot Take off, shed some skin, take off some clothes, leave some stuff behind, leave some people behind that were trying to get you or trying to say, hey, Scorpio, come back, come back. And you're like, nah, I can't, dog. I'm beat. I'm tired. I made it this far. I got to go it alone now. I got to go. This was always my destiny. <laughs> right? So here come the good news. Somebody wants another chance to do something with you creatively, to do something with you visually, to flirt with you, to get your ideas. Okay? Seven of Cups, and I'm getting it's raining blessings up on you, okay? They're like, hey, this is your dream. You you tell me how you want it to be. We can do whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. Like, this is nice, okay? Um, somebody is bowing down to you, Scorpio. They're saying, you're the person of my dreams. You're the... You're the, you know, the artist of my dreams. You're the, the, the work, the, the employee of my dreams. You're, but this is a visionary. So it's saying... You know what? I want to invest my business into you. Okay? I want to I want to put my money into you because you're going to have you're my second chance of making my dreams come true now that I found you. So this is totally discovered. So somebody's getting discovered this week. Wow, or this month. Okay? You're getting discovered for your talent. Page of Wands. This is the best news you ever heard. Yeah, two sevens here, right? Your hard work, your dedication and your never stopping to dream paid off for you following your heart right there with the seven of cups, no matter what it costs, right? The adventure. So this is the new adventure you're embarking on. Okay. This is your general message. After this, I'll look at your finances and I'll look at your love light. Okay. Ooh, somebody matching you too. Look, y'all like little children. This is great. So this is about like somebody you can really dig into your heels with and get creative with right here. Y'all have the same talent. Y'all have the same like caliber of, um, I want to say like if you're the best they're the best but they're like your counterpart okay so like 
I don't know, maybe you're the best painter. Well, they're the best photographer. Like, it's like that. I don't know. They're your counterpart in some way. But whatever it is, they want to take you on an adventure, maybe a trip, a tour. Um, they want you to open for them their gallery opening, their exhibit, something like that. Okay. Um, if they're a graphic designer, they want, they want, they see you and they're like, oh my goodness, can you be my apprentice? You're gonna make all this money. I have too much work and you're the perfect person. It's that kind of energy. Okay. Scorpio, this is a creative business partnership, but there's also a lot of heat and passion between you. This is like, you're supposed to be talking about work, but you guys are like, you know, secretly like wanting to like, you know, rip each other's clothes off. So, but this also person also makes you feel like a kid again. They could work at this institution here or this conglomerate, okay? They could have been the one talked you up and you got the job. Four of Wands, yeah, they're a counterpart, I didn't even see that. Four of Wands, Twin Flame Energy, okay? So this is a new level for you. I'm on a new level, okay? 55, this was always meant to be. This person waited for you, you changed their life, them watching you inspire, you're, I'm getting to. This person watching you, like, it inspired them. You are a leader, so I'm getting that. This is like the perfect person because notice no one here is a king or a queen, okay? So it's saying that together you two will make each other the king and the queen. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And it's a second chance. So this person could have treated you like an option in the past and it doesn't mean that you dated them. Do not go that deep with every time every time somebody says something, okay? You could have just met out you and you didn't even know this person was interested in you. You know what I mean? But they could have just had a lot on their plate or they could have been seeing someone. But now they're in this playful player energy, but so are you, okay? So it's like you're just more into talking and they're definitely into like screwing, but we know they could get you there. So, cause look at y'all kissing in the back. Y'all both dream about kissing each other right there. So anyway, this person is seeing you as a new adventure. What I'm getting though is with that sun behind them and then you have the sun behind you, like your sun is setting go or your sun is rising and their sun is already there so this is a person that could have help you to have like your meteoric rise you know what i mean like they have they've gotten a little bit further with their with their with the same path as you life purpose wise career wise um but they still have a ways to go and it's like they maybe lost inspiration but they see you and he's like oh my god i'm yeah definitely work Okay, work endeavors. Some of your hard work is paying off. You're seeing the rewards and the fruits of it this this month. You're gonna see, or this time frame, because all readings are timeless, but you're gonna see the fruits of your labor. Yeah, they've been waiting for someone like you. They've been waiting. Wow, they were going round and round in their head. They were denying themselves before. They were keeping themselves stuck with somebody that doesn't align, because that is not you. No. They were keeping themselves stuck and look, you're the three here. You were the third party. You were over there just being all zen and cute and didn't even know you were the third party, Scorpio. You're just so funky. Like this person is basic as F, this other person. I'm sorry if you're the cross watcher. I'm sorry not to try to talk about your, your ex or whatever or whoever else they used to work with. Like say this was, say you're getting a Broadway show and you're taking the place of like the lead actress, right? And now like they, it, it was like, it wasn't working. The chemistry was off and they didn't even like each other. Like these people don't even like talking to each other but they were stuck, they were trapped. So this person is not trapped anymore because they're breaking out with that Knight of Wands. They're hopping over to you. It's like, hop, boom, hey Scorpio, hey, good news. You wanna come do this thing, blah, 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 blah. And it's giving you some type of new foundation. Four of Coins is about a foundation you get that you never, and it never leaves you, okay? You're creating a new structure for yourself that never leaves you. So you got in this new adventure, you got in this new environment, and now it's nurturing you and it's time for you to nurture it. See, that's like a support there, this is like, some of you are going to therapy, but this is kind of like you have someone that'll mentor you or someone you can go to now for things, even money, okay? It's Capricorn energy. So some type of goal is being reached here. You got four, four, four. I'm gonna just leave that like it is. And then you got another seven. So that's the third seven that's shown up in this reading, okay? So seven, 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 four, 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 five, five, five. Because that equals five, and then it's five, five. So a lot of synchronicities here, which means the universe is trying to tell you something. This is the opportunity you have always been waiting for. Do not fight it off. Be all defensive. This person is not coming to back you, back you into a corner. This opportunity is not coming to force you to do anything. It's just, just well-deserved reward for hard work well done. Like, that's it. This is like you getting to the top of the mountain, but you still have, like, the energy of the past. Like, you got to fight. You ain't got to fight no more. If th At this point, you're just fighting for... If you are fighting, we need you to put that energy into fighting for to be the best now because you could be comfortable. You're in a new environment now. You're nurtured. You're supported. Okay, you're protected. Fucking fours. 
Ooh, I like that. That's your general message. That took them long, but you know, I just give y'all all the message now instead of trying to rush through these things because I just did a fire signs and I'm telling you, I felt like I was talking a mile a minute and I, yeah. <laughs> that's what that fire energy does for me. It's crazy. But um, you guys, I just feel like I could slow down, take my time, and then the reading ends up being an hour long. Okay, so let's try to get through this. They won't always be an hour. I'm probably end up doing extended again once I get back into my flow. I haven't had a good flow, guys, in like two years on this channel, but I'm gonna build this channel back up to what it can be and greater than ever because, you know, I promised myself I would. All right, and I promise you guys I would, so I will come through. So let's look at your money. Like the video, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Helps my um, channel to grow. Helps people to find me on YouTube, a little needle in the haystack that I am. All right, so your money this week, the Sphinx. Choose your words carefully, Scorpio. Choose your words carefully. So that passionate new beginning you had, if you're too defensive with that good news, I'm getting it's only gonna delay the process or probably miss an opportunity. I'm so serious about that it's kind of like a once in a lifetime thing so you better take it okay so this thing is all about using your universal knowledge yeah this king there's this authority there is somebody watching you and i love the sphinx card because it's like they are attracted to you because you're so wise it's like yeah you're beautiful you're majestic you're different they never seen anything like you you're like something ancient and mystical about you scorpio something that is like oh my god you must have had many lifetimes like this guy said to me one time Oh my God, you're like a millions of years old. Oh. <laughs> right, so yeah, like many past lives, right? Like people are like, wow, but this person is too because they got the ancients too here, okay? So they know what they're talking about. So you're, this person is looking at you for like your wisdom, your your guidance, your universal um, knowledge, your, your secrets. You have, you know, the secrets of the divine, okay? They're looking at you like, wow, like, you know, the Sphinx, that's an energy that... um. That's an evolved energy, okay? So it's like you're so evolved. You're way past anyone or anyone or everyone, right? But it's like, okay, but don't be the Sphinx, though. Don't be, like, all extra cold and weird and give out only riddles, okay? It's saying choose your words wisely. Like, give out riddles that like, maybe play with this person a little bit. Like, like have fun, okay? Because this person is authoritative and they're diplomat, but they're also diplomatic. So they're like, oh, okay, this is cool. I, that's fair. So just, you know, ask questions. Um you know but don't be defensive don't be don't 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 push push people away at this time in regards to your finances because there's an offer here because this person has the ankh in their hand that's like the sign of life right it's also like venus so it's saying they have something here that can grow exponentially for you and it's it's good luck it's good luck and this this person is showing up as honorable with the griffin okay so your money this week look at that you got the sun your perseverance is being rewarded congratulations scorpio your perseverance is being rewarded choose your words carefully there's authority and diplomacy somebody wants to be the they are the authority on something you want to do and they're looking at you you're definitely getting discovered for a lot of you you're definitely getting discovered this is a beautiful reading already all right so let's look at your finances and career this week scorpio why is the sphinx here for my Scorpios. Why is the Sphinx here? You got the temperance. The angels brought you this. Oh, wow. So there's also the energy. Look, good news again. Good news again, page of wands. Could be a fire sign bringing some really, really good news, specifically a Sagittarius this week, this month, um, this time frame. Okay. I'm seeing here that um, there's something very angelic about you. And there's there's something about you knowing when to move, knowing how things are supposed to happen, always knowing it was your time and you've been preparing for this for a while. You might have been really patient, but you knew it's coming now. You know it. You know it. And the angels have been giving you messages and guiding you and you've been embracing the energy of flow and this is all alchemy. So something has been happening in the background for you when you least expected it. You didn't need, you just, you, this is the energy of like, I knew, I know a, a miracle is about to happen for me. I'm gonna just wait. Oh, well, here it is. Um, and I'm getting that somebody did already worked out the kinks for you. This person could be, they could be in love with your talent. I'll just say it like that. This is a financial reading, but 
deep down inside, you could know they want more. I'm just saying. But you look attracted to them too. I'm not going to lie, Scorpio. That's your energy looking at them, feeling that all that love, all that love. This is an energy of like this offer coming towards you. It's just filled with compassion, care, and adoration. They, somebody adores you. Okay, I'm thinking of that song by um, Prince. Until the end of time. I'll be there for you. Yeah, somebody wants to be there for you. So you have this huge financial blessing. Ooh. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Look, Ace of, coin, Ace of Coins. A lump sum of money could come in with this opportunity, and it will only grow from there. Okay? What's honor and good luck for their finances this week? Chariot. So you could be having to travel. Oh, my God. The lovers. How your financial reading turned into a... Um, a love read <laughs> but I can read his financial because I know my astrology okay all right so this is saying that like this person they could have been watching you they could have been watching your talent online if you put your content online um, if you put your they've been watching your work when you submit your work um, however you're on display okay and they could see the the quality I mean it's like the the highest quality they're just saying it's the highest quality that's what I'm hearing and it's time with the heavenly chariot um, that's the universe giving you a way not through but up and over okay straight straight to the freaking destination that's it okay come on come on Scorpio we're going for a ride so a lot of you will be traveling somebody is so drawn to your work um, this is about a communication so some of you are amazing communicators amazing artists singers poetry you have poetry here you do have travel with the temperance philosophy some of y'all could be teachers some of y'all could do this is like artifacts um some of y'all could be teaching some type of ancient art art form you could also be architects um, you could be inscribe things writers you also have real estate here so i'm getting there's a huge investment that's about to be made into you scorpio i'm getting a lump sum of money and i'm getting a short distance travel a tour um, there's also a new car for you if you're looking for a new car you can buy a car you're gonna have that money you're gonna have that money to decorate your home you're gonna have that money to move some of y'all will be moving you're gonna make a choice last minute though to go somewhere first you're gonna be whisked away for this job opportunity what a week you're gonna your mind's gonna be blown you're like okay Vanessa whatever and then when it happens you're like oh my gosh and it's about your wisdom the ibis so this person is just as smart as you are who's coming Sorry, Scorpio, my battery died. Okay, so I want to look a little bit deeper here. But like I said, some of y'all are getting your dream opportunity for something that you're really, really talented at, okay? Um, hidden talent that you've been, you know that this time was always going to come. You knew that at some point you were going to get to do this because with the sun and the perseverance, you know you're blessed. You know you're the only one. You know you are the chosen one, the lovers, right? Um... But it's like you had to wait. Like, it's almost like the world wasn't ready. Star card. Yeah, dream come true. Dream come true. All right. Your career this week or this month. There's somebody here. There they are again. That, that person to invest in you. And you're going to be, I'm getting, they're going to make you the king of pentacles. You're the, they're the king of pentacles. Could be a Gemini. You also have um, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Pisces here. Another Scorpio. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically Virgo. All right, and like I have Capricorn as well. The world, world fame, right there. Damn, Scorpio, y'all guys, y'all have to get the most awesome readings, don't you? So I'm getting that this person who's offering you this gift, there could be more than one person here, two bosses, you're the employee, or one boss, one employee, but one of them is in love with you, okay? Take it how it resonates. And they want to make you a king of pentacles just like they are, okay? So they want to make you rich the same way, and you will be. This offer will grow into this. This is a big lump sum of money, and it will grow into that, okay? The world card. Now, with the world in the chariot, that's straight up traveling in the world. That's period. Period on the, to the point blank. But I'm getting you have to travel to meet up with this group here. And then they offer you something and then you start traveling the world. Like, this is insane. Okay, last message for your finances this week. You're going to look here and you're going to be like, this is too good to be effing true. <laughs> nah, B, it's true. What I'm saying is true. Ace of Swords. 
I'm done. That's a contract. You'll be signing that contract. So who was with me in the Libra uh, full moon reading in Aries season? When I was like, we're going to be signing that contract. We remember that contract that we manifested. Here it is. Here it is. And if you check your astrology, you should know that the Sagittarius full moon was to actualize that Libra full moon, which we just had. Okay, so contract. All right, that's all I'm going to say. It's going to be in writing, Scorpio. It's going to be in writing. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to title that. This is coming in writing, son. But I'm getting a lump sum of money coming in first, too. So, that's your career. So, ooh, buddy, that sign on bonus about to be big, okay? Sign on bonus, okay? Sign on bonus. Remember that. Remember that. Vanessa said that, okay? I want you to put in the comments when things start happening. A lot of you do that for me, and I really, really enjoy that. I don't really need the confirmation. I just want everybody else to see it so they can really understand, like, nah, this this isn't about me. I'm not here to do the messages because this is fun for me. Honestly, my back kind of hurts sitting here. I'm not going to lie. Okay? I got big boobs. But, I'm not, but this is the thing, right? This is your love life, by the way. This is the thing. I do this because I can't be the only one receiving these awesome messages and keep it to myself. Okay? No. No. And also, you need to understand, like, nah, keep keep the dream. Keep hope alive. Don't get all discouraged when you see everybody out here being all um, depressed. Nah, forget that. Oh, something wasn't the right time in the past. It's coming, it's coming back around. You're going to say it's not the right time now, though. But it is. That's what I'm getting. It is. It's saying electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. Ooh. So, okay. This is the past. This is the past. Or this is the current energy, but it's about to change. Show me Scorpio's love life. So, yeah, so I told you. <laughs> Ooh, so you're, the health of your love life is about to go up exponentially. Um, what I'm hearing is somebody is not, their, their health is off. Okay, not yours. Maybe, could be both of you. Health issues could arise, but I'm getting your love life. So I'm seeing that like... And some of you, you can take that literally, okay? Um, but I'm seeing that with this energy with Mercury retrograde, we just got through retrograde, right? So somebody was reviewing and reviewing and reviewing and reviewing all of May. Um, they were thinking about you. You probably don't even know that. While they were with someone else. Yeah, you don't know that. It wasn't right time then, though. And now they're ready to be intimate with you. And I'm saying it's like, whoa, like, what's intimacy? What's well, that sexual chemistry? <laughs> Reminiscing, right? They want to, they, they're thinking about it. They're thinking, that's what's on their mind, okay? They got sex on the brain. But here's the other thing. Intimacy is not just sex. So it's saying that somebody wants to get to know you intimately, Scorpio. They, they got to know you. I got to get to know you. Now it's like, uh-uh, know you. Uh, uh, know ya. Ooh, longing to know ya. That's Maxwell. All right, so look, Ace of Cups. That just showed its face to me. New love. This is a new person. So, if somebody came back from the past, the answer is no. Because they're going to get in the way of you and this new person. That's a message here for y'all, too. Love yourself enough to choose something better. Do not ever doubt the universe. Always has something better for you. Okay? So, could be a Gemini or Virgo. Could be a Gemini and a Virgo. Like, one person come from the past could be a Gemini. One, or the new person could be a Gemini. The old person from the past could be a Virgo. Take it how it resonates. Doesn't have to be. But whoever this person is coming towards you, they are a master manifester. But they could not manifest you because they were going crazy. They had a, some painful, depressing ass shit happen to them, okay? A betrayal, the ultimate betrayal. That's what the Ten Swords mean. There ain't no regular betrayal, okay? Or else it'd be some other card. The ultimate backstabbing betrayal, okay? And it caused, it, it took them out. It took them out. Some, somebody could have passed away for a lot of y'all too. It took them out, all right? So they had to go through this situation, but look, it turned them into a man, honey, okay? All right, so. <laughs> or a woman, you know, or them, okay, no discrimination here, look, emperor, empress, I'm done, could be a divine counterpart, could be somebody you stay long term with, all right, could be the one, well, you have the one here, that's the perfect ace, is the magician, they have all the aces, so this person feels like you have everything they want, you have all the aces, 
They could not stop thinking about you. They couldn't let you go, even though they were with someone else. They were, they were, I'm getting, they were having, they were being intimate with that person or, or even in group settings and then still thinking about you. Okay. Yeah. This person was like, no, it's, it's not the right time. I regret, I regret, I regret in the past that I wasn't ready when this person came into, when I passed by Scorpio. Scorpio, this, I don't think you know that this person feels this way. You might know this person had a crush on you and maybe nothing came of it. Or you might just know that there was something there. I'll get, I'll just put it like that. Cause you're too busy being a magician, Scorpio. And this is your energy here. I'm, but I'm not feeling like that's you. Or you could just feel like I wanted this person at one point in time. I took action. You know, I sent a message. The magician takes action. You know, I, I twirled in front of them. <laughs> and they didn't notice me. Like, whatever. Screw them. Like, that's your problem. And now they're cry now they're the ones crying over spilt milk. The, the, re the minute you started glowing up or, or you just started doing your thing, you, you started doing what Scorpios do. Like, you just started doing your thing anyway because you were working on other stuff anyway. And you started making these roses appear out of nowhere. And now a rose... Mm, I like that. So it's it's saying that you blossom. You're you over there blossoming, just creating, doing lovely things, being your best funky self. And this person is like, I cannot believe I was so worried about this BS that I didn't see that I had a soulmate right in front of me. But this person needs to turn around and realize that they still can have an opportunity with you because Scorpio, if it was somebody you already dated, you would not be going backwards because that the magician doesn't go backwards. Okay. That's still at the beginning of a new journey. There ain't no backwards from here. That's the fool. You can't jump back up off the cliff. You just got pushed off of, you feel me? So this is a new person that, that like just didn't, I want to say you moved. You got a new town. You might've walked by them and they just didn't say anything. Like, I don't know. They didn't, they didn't, I almost say they didn't recognize it. They just couldn't focus on you because they were still in this, this energy of soaking up the things that made them sad in the past. And now they are sitting in deep regret. Definitely could be an air sign or water sign. So, or they have that in their chart, air, water, Mercury. So Mercury in Scorpio, Mercury in Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this person here, well, with that energy, Mercury and Scorpio means they're obsessed, okay? And they have a mouth that's not very, like, easy to deal with. Like, they're not very forthcoming when it comes to, like, sharing emotions. You would think if they're a Scorpio, they could, Mercury and Scorpio, but it's not like that. With Mercury and Scorpio, people kind of have a sharp tongue, like a, like, like when they speak, they sting, right? So they say things, and it's like, ow, you don't have to be so harsh. <laughs> So maybe you said something to them and they said something back to you and it was like, okay, that was harsh. That's not, I mean, damn, you like, yeah, five of swords, right? And now this person has mental conflict over how they treated you. They're like, damn, I shouldn't have cut Scorpio down like that. Like, ugh, right? But if they have Mercury and Gemini Libra Aquarius, then there's somebody that's very cerebral. So they're like, oh man, they're thinking they're, it's like their, their brain is going crazy. They want this new beginning with you. What do I say? How do I get this started again? Okay. They cut someone else to be with you. They cut it. They want a clean slate. They had the clarity. This was not their person because ever since you breezed in and breezed past or breezed out, man, you've been on the brain. They got love on the brain. So show me this sexual camera. I just saw lust with the strength come out. They had to hold, they had to tame their beast. Oh my God. This person likes to masturbate um, to you, Scorpio. The thought of you. Wow. Intimacy. So they're triggered by intimacy here. They're triggered. That's why I didn't say anything. But look, there's healing with this Ace of Swords. It's victory for them. See, they chose someone else because they felt like they didn't deserve you. That's egoic right here. They felt like, oh my God, Scorpio, you're just going to hurt me. Like this person is probably going to betray me. But you, I don't know if I can get through that. My heart has already got swords in it. But this is four swords. So there's some type of resolve here. Okay. So show me, Scorpio, you, you're doing the damn thing though. Somebody feels like they had to like really, they have to work hard. They have to work hard and change their mental, their mindset to be able to step to you. All right, so tell, show me anything else for Scorpio's love life at this time. Emotionally detaching and coming towards you. They're coming towards you. I don't feel they're here yet, though. This month, they're coming towards you. They might have an idea. They will communicate. Oh, look at that commitment. This month, tell me more. 
the moon. Oh my goodness. There's so much um, intuitive knowing here that you guys are divine counterparts. Wow. Okay, tell me what else I Show me one more for Scorpio's love life. This person and them. Show me one more. The cards keep falling. Show me one more for Scorpio's love life. I want to see how this, how do we get this intimacy? Because this is like secret intimacy. A third party can't know. Like, what are you, a third party? What's going on here? I doubt that. Let's see. Oh, no, I'm seeing single. I'm seeing single. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I mean, let me slow down. So somebody broke up with somebody to be with you. They broke up with somebody to be with you. I'm seeing you two travel together and you guys secretly get married. I don't know how far off that is. I see really far into the future sometimes, guys. Um, but that's how it'll go. Or you secretly commit. You know, I'm seeing that you travel somewhere. Oh, that's the vision I got for you guys. Did I even tell you guys the vision? Okay, so I'm seeing something, your life 180 change because in the vision I got for y'all at the very beginning of the readings, that's how I don't like to rush. You guys traveled somewhere with this person and you go to somewhere like a historical landmark, um, an old, a old like church, or you go to like Rome, the Vatican, or you go to like, somewhere with all those old buildings like european style or you go to like you know even older like egypt like you go somewhere you visit some of y'all going to cote d'ivoire and like you know and you wherever you go you guys like backpack up this mountain like you guys have these crazy adventures together and i'm getting that you like make some type of commitment while you're there okay like this is this to me is like we secretly know we're going to get married, but we don't want to hurt the people around us. And we be maybe just like we know people. This is a lot of hate. You trigger people. Something about your union triggers people, triggers mofos. OK, I was really trying not to cuss just now. Um, yeah, maybe you guys are in the public eye. Maybe they are. Oh, my God, this love. Somebody wants to keep this love to themselves for a while, but I'm getting it's an agreement because you have the Hierophant there because you're both so busy. It could be because you work with this person. Thank you, spirit. That's it. So you're going to be juggling two things, Scorpio. I'm getting you're starting this affair at work, child. But it's like I'm not getting like it's like work like. I mean, some of y'all, it's your nine to five, but I'm getting it's like your project, like you work on a project together, a tour, a gallery showing, you know, you know, go, go, go with me here. Get with me. Like they, you, they, they started a therapy practice and you could be a partner. Like, it's not like you work for them. You work with them because you have side by side here. Right. But it's like you're juggling the, the work and the love life because you guys are together, but it's secret. The moon, you don't want anybody to know because maybe right now like there's so many eyes on you you guys are winning like everybody's watching you have these victories scorpio and they're watching this person because you guys are on the same path here and maybe people you don't want it to get distracted like you don't want to be distracted but this is also a proposal my god this is wild so it's like this person and you you know this person like th that's what i'm saying there's a promise here in time we're gonna make this official or in time we're gonna seal the deal we're gonna we're gonna go to the, the, the chapel. We're gonna have the wedding. We're gonna do the thing. But right now, it's just a period of investment. Okay, so it's building, it's building. Cause this, cause y'all are still healing from the past here. There's still trust issues, but y'all know y'all wanna be together. So I like this, I like this. This is like, okay, you know what? We're gonna date, look at this, I'm keeping looking, right? We're gonna date, we're gonna be together, but we both know we're jaded. We both know we're messed up. <laughs> So, and this is divine timing, like we, how we came together. Like this is, we did not plan this. This is totally the universe. You're both the same. You guys are both spiritually inclined. You're both spiritual teachers with the Hierophant. Or maybe you're teaching them at the core of it all. I don't know. Um, but this is a master manifester. So they know a little something, okay? You're the spiritual teacher. They're the master manifester, okay? And you're like, no, we're the same. We're gonna keep this to ourselves. Because you're, you're at a crossroads. It's like, you know what? Why don't instead of making a decision, why don't we just balance both? Our intuition is saying this is okay. This is great. I like this reading. This person, and this is also while your money builds up. This is a lot of money. This is a, like a big investment that's been made on this project. You're really busy. Wow, I like this. So let's look at how they feel about you. How do they feel about Scorpio? How does Scorpio's person 
feel about them this is they're probably still in a in a way oh wow the signs all pointed to you Scorpio it's like everywhere they look they saw you okay oh and they neglected it and that's a wound they have struggles to let things go low self-worth gets angry easily struggles to say no and repress emotion so they it was like they were in a situation where they just they had to like again this it, you made them a man or you made them a woman like you made them grow a pair okay because it, to be with you they had to follow the signs the synchronicities they had to believe in the universe they had a faith they had to stand strong in their convictions and their beliefs and they had to grow up and tell people no i don't want that or you can't use me and it gave them a lot of clarity. They know exactly what they want. We saw that with the Ace of Swords. They know they want this new beginning with you. And there's something about signing a contract, signing the papers again in the love reading. So with that, with that, I'm going to say y'all could secretly get married. I'm not even lying. Just maybe for like the insurance. I don't know. <laughs> but um, able to see things clearly, understanding situations, people, places, and things for what they truly are. That's all what they learn just by like falling for you. I feel about you they are they clear on what they want now they were really overloaded before they're clear that, that that's not like the life for them with all those people in their face constantly needing them needing them for shit yeah they learned that lesson they, they were treating themselves like they weren't worthy when they they were always the prize they were always the catch it's like y'all mirror right so it's like well I, i'm just like scorpio so you know scorpio they look up to you scorpio it's like you taught them something like you taught them how to like be unbothered and to know their worth. Ooh, they want to communicate with you. So this person I'm getting has been silent. They're going to communicate now. Maybe this week, this month, okay? And there's a compromise here. They're going to be they're going to tell you everything that happened. They're going to be like, "Can you can you just, you know, if I do can we just do this or you know, would you be willing to accept blah 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 if or, you know the whatever happens?" Okay. Ooh, and both of you will be abundant together. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you're in a stalemate now, but that's about to be over because they're going to communicate. You see? Stuck and stagnant, no growth or development, but they're going to communicate because they're getting the signs. They're seeing that they have needs neglect like wounds. They're learning their lessons, saying their valuable soul lessons are needed to make oneself whole again. They are they know they're overloaded. They're, they're, they can, they're like, oh, why am I compromising? Oh, I'm getting a message. Why am I compromising my love life making doing things for other people and not even feeling appreciated and then feeling unworthy of scorpio and i getting the clarity on what needs to be left behind okay because this is like yo, look see they was deceiving themselves they was deceiving themselves when it comes to you they were deceiving themselves so they're seeing now no i was supposed to be with scorpio i could have been had my life i wanted yeah fool. or like you know if I would have met you sooner, oh my goodness, I wish I would have met you sooner, like something like that. Or I wish I would have said something that first time you walked by. I'm getting like five, with that five, those five cards, five months ago, five weeks ago, five years ago, you know? Like I wish I would have said something though at that time, or the month of May, okay? Could have just been the month of May. But here they come now. So how do you feel about them? They're going to communicate though, okay, Scorpio? They have something to say. They want to work it out. They want to... They want to give you something too. I'm getting like they want to make it up to you. In, I don't. But here's the thing, Scorpio. I was really about to start some pots while you know. And I mean, I feel like you, <laughs> you um, you even really was on that type type. I feel like you just cool. Like, all right, you ain't gonna make nothing up to me. I mean, that's your. You lucky you still caught me. You know what I mean? You're lucky I'm still here, fool. Telepathy. Yeah, you was talking to them this whole time. With that hierophant too, they could read your mind. I could read your mind, babe. I know what you're thinking, and it's all right. Yeah, you were pissed about this. Okay, let me stop. You're feeling a certain type of way. It's all right. They could feel also, maybe you were angry a lot of times, Scorpio. That's why they weren't coming towards you, straight up. This has nothing to do with them. But this is that energy of, why doesn't anything oh, ever oh, work out for me? Oh. It's like, yeah, you had to get through that. Remember I said in the beginning of the reading, you're like... <laughs> You're like, ooh, reflection time. So maybe during the month of May, right? You were like really on one and they could feel that. This person is just as gifted as you. It's because you're independent, Scorpio. You know, there's lessons that come with that. They like that about you. They think you're sexy. They think the way you dress is something different about you. They want, I'm getting this person really wants to see you in heels. If you're a female. Ooh, okay. 
love. They're in love with you. You're in love with them. You're in love with them, Scorpio. It says loves unconditionally, unselfishly, with no limitations. You feel like this person is someone you could love unconditionally. There's something you like about them. You know they're telepathic. You were pissed. You were like, why do I always meet people that are good for me and it doesn't work out? Or, you know, oh, I'm tired of meeting people who aren't ready. Right? Yeah, but that separation needed to happen. I mean, this is twin flame, you know, just so you know. Yeah, look at that. You needed to heal, Scorpio. You were still healing. But it's okay. I'm getting that everything happened in perfect timing. All right? So how you feel about this person was that they needed to heal. They were too angry or they were too weird or the way they spoke to you was a little too aggressive um, or just like, you know, premeditative. Like it wasn't, you were not talking about whatever they were pissed off about or they were like passive aggressive. I don't know, not in a mean way. Like they were just... Something something was weird, but it's like you felt it. You felt the connection. Like, this could have been great. That could have been great, you know? Maybe they looked the part, but they didn't act it. Well, that's all they needed was to meet you. You got you want to F them, and they want to F you. I'm just saying that like that. Wow, Scorpio. Do not even lie and say you don't like this person. So you're up here trying to figure out what's wrong with them, though. You are. <laughs> but guess what, honey? There ain't nothing wrong. This person makes you happy. You could jump in the air. You could do backflips. And I'm also getting like you, you, you could be yourself with them. Like you don't even gotta like dress up. Like you could just like run around and you're barefoot and just ripped up t-shirt or whatever. Like it doesn't even matter. They're gonna rip the clothes off anyway. Just so you know. Wow, this is like a perfect match. And I'm, I'm also getting. They think you're really cute when you're angry or you're mad. They love how you like you just jump into self care mode. They love how like um, I'm getting more off of them. Like this is crazy. See the telepathy is here. I'm trying to talk about how you feel, and I'm all all I'm getting is what they love about you. This person loves you. I want to say they love you more, but they think about you a lot more, or they've thought more deeply about you than you know. Okay, like they're low key obsessed. But this is this person's love language. Like if they're not obsessed like this, they don't really love you. And with you, they just, there's something about you. You're so fascinating. Like even when you're frustrated, it's cute. Even when you get all crazy trying to figure something out, it's cute. Like they love to watch you work. They love when you, they, they want to like, they think you're fun. So you're going to think they're really romantic. You're going to love their, um, how stable they are financially, how good, I, good they are at what they do. There's something about them being really, really good at what they do and they're really, really generous and compassionate at work or how they their leadership skills are with people. People love them, but they're also really tender and sweet and I feel like this is the future. So you're gonna have a lot of joy. So be patient, Spirit says. Surrender to divine timing and be receptive when this person comes around. Don't bring any negativity over up in this because it's your abundance. Look at that, you both got abundant. This is the Divine Feminine deck, and that was the Divine Masculine deck, okay? You could have met this person a long time ago, some of y'all, because there's some element of nostalgia here between y'all. But I want to show you, like, look at that. This is this other deck here, right? And you got this abundant. So y'all, y'all, come on. Y'all are each other's idea of happiness. Wow. Wowzers. So that's how you feel about them. All right, so let's get you some advice and wrap this sucker up. Wrap it up, guys. That was a, that was a hint, okay? If you don't want to get prego, wrap it up. <laughs> I'm seeing a fertile myrtle, and I'm seeing two people that cannot keep their hands off each other, and I was seeing a honeymoon. How come I still can't get to the honeymoon? I saw a wedding and a honeymoon in my vision. So that could be that, like, secret wedding, like, or secret ceremony. There's something about a secret ceremony. So I'm not saying like you won't have a wedding for your friends or your family. I'm saying that there's something about you two that you commit to each other in some type of sacred space because it's like the perfect setting and it's it's like at the very beginning of your romance. Like you take a trip and it's like, that's what happens. So perspective here. Gaining clarity. See the other side. Consideration. Impression versus fact. Take responsibility for your life. So. This is telling you you're gonna have a perspective change when it comes to this person. I wanna hear, no, it's not that Gemini, or no, it's not a Virgo. Then it's not, we're not talking about them. We're not talking about them. We're talking about this person who you're gonna be in love with, 
It's going to change your perspective or outlook on things. The impression you had of them is not who they are at all. You gotta hear the facts, okay? Life surfing, feeling capable of overcoming adversity, no expectations and approaching life like a sport. So when you get into this situation, I can't remember what sign I just said this for, but you're gonna have to release your attachment to outcomes. I think it was the Aries reading. Like, do not get all caught up in, okay, I'm getting with somebody and this is supposed to be a commitment and, you know, I'm looking for this and I need this time frame for this. No, 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 that's not going to be needed here. This is one of those things where you're going to have to savor the moment. Like, you don't want to miss out on the moments. This will move on its own. You ain't got to do all that. So try to enjoy this, okay, without any expectations because I'm hearing that if you put expectations on it, both of y'all are too jaded for that. Like, just, it's like one of those things you just wake up. And like, you're like, oh, we're a couple. Like, yeah, we married. Oh, shoot, we married. I don't want to live without you. I don't want to love you. It's like, yeah, you guys heal each other. So let's get one more word of advice here for Scorpios and their love line for their life in general. Magic of pretending. Ooh, some of you are going to be doing a movie, doing a film. I meant to say that too, you know, Pedro Wands could be a film, an actor. You're like a novice actor, a supporting role. I said that, right? I said like a Broadway play. Okay, anyway. Ooh, number 13 is here. So this is life-changing death card. This is a transformation. So it says, visualize ideal situation. Be detailed. Play the part. See as manifested. Speak it into existence. And be certain. That's that magician. That's what you're going to have to do in this love life of yours. It's like you're the leader, Scorpio. You're the master manifester. You both are creating this however you want it to be. And just let it happen. Be in a flow state. Seven of Cups energy here. So... Allow things to be a little dreamy, a little cloudy at first. You have a lot of options on how you want this to go, but it also means like follow your heart. Don't worry about what your heart feels, yet it will come into view. In the zone, loving life, focus, high frequency, skill meets challenge and flotation energy. Also means you have a lot of blessings coming in Scorpio. Seven to be exact. Seven, uh, the month of July could be significant, okay? And I'm also getting August, okay? Um, and I'm seeing you really try to focus your energy and try to have fun, but I'm also seeing like, just fake it till you make it. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to drag this on. Well, maybe I will. One more card. Let's see. Tell me about Scorpio's advice overall, please. What's happening for them or show us what we need to see. You got, Ooh, faith. Oh, look at that pregnancy. What's well, tell you? trust okay it's like you're about to realize you're at the prefaces preface you're at the threshold of like the greatest time of your life okay all your faith it paid off tenfold okay it's time for you to create this now it's time for you to imagine this it's time for you to allow yourself to be protected in this journey talk to your spirit guide your ancestors talk to god whoever you, you know, whatever you do there. And this is like, you're protected. You're being birthed into this whole new journey. You're already there though. I'm seeing they're about to pop the bubble. <laughs> See that thing about to pop the bubble. Like, all right, you ready, baby little duckling? You ready? And surrender to the will of the divine. Surrender. Yeah, no more work have you done. No more work done. All right. Bye, I love y'all.